hello guys welcome back to says person and time channel did you ever had a situation where you had a says post profile and you wanted to convert that profile into multiple says force uh, permission sets uh, if yes uh, then this video is for you so uh, in my past experience I have seen uh, where we had uh, had created few profiles um, for our users in Salesforce org uh, but uh, apparently um, the profiles which we created they were not actually helping us out because um, there were multiple permissions for different types of users we wanted to give and hence we we actually later converted those profiles into permission sets so if you had uh, any situation like that then what do you do right uh, so I've seen uh, there is already um, says post um, manage package user permissioner and assistant uh, which you can use uh, to convert a says post profile into a permission set um, but apparently that um, doesn't allow you to convert anything which is uh, not a says post license profile so for example if I had a platform license profile um, then you cannot convert using that manage package and on top of that you have to install that uh, particular uh, managed package onto your org and uh, definitely um, some sometimes you don't have access to do that right and sometimes it becomes difficult uh, to install it on each of your uh, Salesforce orgs um, um, becomes a difficult task to do so uh, what if uh, you wanted to do st uh, this convert a profile into a permission set uh, but again you don't want to install anything so I have a solution for you uh, so let's consider this scenario where I have uh, a sales profile and later on uh, I got to know this is going to be divided into um, uh, like a field user sales field user permission set and then um, sales ops user permission set so if uh, depending on uh, their um, role uh, probably I'm going to have two permission sets and then um, in those two permission sets I'm going to assign different permissions for these users so uh, what if I already have both of those users under sales profile and they have existing uh, like field permissions object permissions and so on right so whatever permissions they already had a uh, sales profile i wanted to copy those profile uh, permissions into these new permission sets and also uh, after after it's been copied then i can definitely go inside these permission sets and remove anything which is like excess right which is not required for these type of users so how do I do this? Uh, so let me go back um, to uh, Pack Magics. Um, so okay, before doing that, uh, I wanted to show you this is my profile, uh, sales profile, which uh, is a platform license type of user. So which is not possible uh, using a sales post manage package, user permissions, and assistant manage package. So let me go to uh, Pack Magics. Uh, let me just open it up here. Oops, I misspelled this. So, so I need me to open. So, if you had um, any type of uh, custom profile, uh, then you should be able to convert it using Pack Magics. So, let me login so any standard profiles uh, you have um, you will not be able to convert those right now that's limitation but, but uh, basically uh, you would uh, basically in salesforce you are never allowed to work with the standard profiles right so you always needed to clone a standard 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 custom custom and then, and then work with work with it you know? so basically basically all the custom profiles uh, you could uh, uh, is taking a bit here to log in now 
let me just go to the converter so this is my profile to permission set converter uh, so I, I need to select a profile which I want to convert so you get uh, multiple options here which profile you want to select so I have got my sales user profile and this is here or oh, this is custom sales profile and this is sales profile so I, I got the to select the custom sales profile and um, then I need to give a permission set label so I'm going to give this as my sales field user permission set so this is going to uh, by default give me a permission set API name so if you want to change this you could change it and um, I want to give a description of this uh, permission set being created so it's a good practice so you, you want to give a description and uh, here is an option you can um, select whether you want to copy the license information from the profile so for example if this had a platform license then it would copy that so let me select that in some cases you may not want to copy this uh, since uh, permission sets uh, sometimes you don't want to copy it but in this case I would want to copy the license so I'll, I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to hit the create permission set button here So it's going to take a minute or two to convert copy all of the um, application app epics class custom permission uh, field level security or uh, object level security uh, flow permissions record type accesses and tab access permissions uh, so notice that tab access permissions would be copied only if you have selected to copy the license because um, the the tab access permissions uh, are allowed only with the license in in per permission sets so i have got this new permission set um, already created successfully um, if i want to verify that let me see so sales field user is the permission set right so let me just go quickly here and let me see if i can compare the existing um, permission set using profile comparator so this is my profile let me see I can see the sales profile so this was my sales profile right and uh, let me see if I can uh, select that new permission set which I created so this is my uh, my field user was the permission set I created so this is my sales field user permission set and I can compare permissions so this is going to show me uh, whatever it has copied over from this permission set and um, only the tab permissions is something uh, and in the, in the profiles and permission sets there are few permissions which are like named differently for example tab permission may be named as default on in profile whereas in um, permission set it might say visible only that particular thing so but that's that's how salesforce has those configured in profile and permission sets yep so i got the results now let me see what are the matches um, so so cool thing about this is like you can see all the permissions uh, and you can see for for the sales profile permissions and then you can see the new permission set permissions so if i want to see uh, compare those side by side and just selected show only matches so that does that's going to give me uh, what it has copied over from the original permission set so for example app visibility it has copied uh, field permissions object permissions everything it would have copied so uh, this is what uh, is going to be helpful for you and then later on if you wanted to change any of these copied permissions then you could uh, definitely go back to a particular 
um, the new permission set uh, for field permissions, remove any access permissions, uh, remove any access object permissions you wanted to remove and based on that uh, then your new permission set would be already set. Uh, okay, So this is what I wanted to show you how you can uh, copy a profile into a new permission set with, uh, with its uh, permissions and that's going to be uh, definitely helpful for you. Uh, this is uh, this is also an uh, important thing as uh, this conversion tool actually basically copies uh, more than what Salesforce managed package copies because the tab permissions, record type access permissions, uh, those things are not actually being copied by Salesforce managed package um, tool right now and but this tool actually copies it for you so that that's going to be uh, very very helpful for you. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions, comments about this particular feature, uh, the profile to permission set converter. Uh, if you have any, please let me know uh, in the comments area of this YouTube video. Uh, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye.